Hello guys, uh, I'm going to go out for a run today and I've been looking for an app that will like track my progress and track where I run to and give me like like how fast I'm running things like that and I found these two apps uh, both seem free at the moment they got this like in-app purchase stuff that you can do if you want to one's by Under Armour and I think it's called Map My Run and the other one is a Nike Plus run club and we're gonna try those two apps today then I'll show you guys the results at the end let you know my thoughts okay so I thought I'd show you guys first what they look like there is the map my run by Under Armour it's a little blue icon and then this is the Nike plus run club and so you just tap on them they come up show you the map you hit start workout so that's what I'm gonna hit and then we're gonna back out of that do the same thing on Nike same thing hit start take off go run and that's it so time for the run <laughs> Okay, so I got done with the run. Nike says I ran 3.18 miles. And Under Armour says I ran 3.31 miles. Now, as far as the Under Armour app goes, it just wasn't my favorite. Uh, let, let's start off with the Nike one. The Nike one talked to me. The Nike one told me how. Here we go. Let's see. Fix that. Can see me? Maybe you can see me. Maybe. There we go. So I, I used both apps and I enjoyed the Nike app because when I would stop running, it would automatically go ahead and say pause and. And pause for a second and then as soon as I would pick back up running it would say resuming workout or whatever and then we would it would just keep my pace up for me and then as I would reach a mile two miles it would tell me my pace it would say first mile ten minute pace second mile tell me how long I've been running and also tell me when I hit that second mile and then now I'm on a 12 minute pace, so, uh, which I turned my ankle a little bit on the second mile, and then I did another 12 minute mile on my third mile. But it was cool because it would, it would speak to me and let me know only on those times. It wasn't like always talking to me. It would only talk to me when I paused, or if I kept running, it just say resume workout and just kept on. But, uh, then when I'd reach each mile, it would tell me how I reached that mile and what pace it was. And I didn't, and I had my earphones in, so I didn't have to stop and, and see where I was at or see my pace. And the Under Armour one just didn't do any of that. I mean, it told me what I ran when I opened the app back up and looked at it, hit, uh, pause workout and then I had to hold down the button to stop the workout which I had to hold down the button on the Nike one too to stop the workout but it went ahead and paused 
like I, since I stopped, it said pause workout. And so then I hit pause and then I pressed and then it said that the um, workout was over. And it gave me the option to make cool little thumbnails and things like that too. It gave me the option to share on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, I think. Uh, Under, Ar Under Armour only gave me the option to share on Facebook and Twitter, which, however, it was easy to do. Um, and I guess you could, it, the Nike one, you could invite friends to. Uh, so if you wanted to invite more people to run with you or uh, to track their progress and your progress and then have like a leaderboard of who's running, it just, all in all, just better. I'm ready to delete the Under Armour uh, app off my phone and I'm going to use the Nike one again tomorrow. I really enjoyed it. So... Again, it was the Nike Plus um, Run Club. So, now it's on iOS. I guess it's on Android, too. I don't know. I use an iPhone. Uh, so, that's it. 3.2 something, maybe, you know, between the two. So, 5K a day. That's what I did. And uh, check you guys out later.